parents, please, please watch out for your children. These child predators are out here. So I just came out of Target and there was a gentleman in there. Um, and he was just kind of walking slow. Um, didn't pay it a lot of attention at first, but I noticed this man never really went down an aisle. He was just kind of lingering at the end cap, um, kind of peeking down the aisle. Um, he didn't have a car, a basket, anything. Didn't have anyone with him that I could see. Um, it was just him. And he had like a cell phone and it looked like a small walkie-talkie in his hand. Um, so I looked at him. It kind of looked weird. Um, but when I looked at him, he picked up an item like he was looking at it. Um, so, you know, I went on, went down the aisle, whatever. So a few minutes later, I saw this same man. Well, he's still doing the same thing in the same section, right? And we're in a toy section. Um, so it looked really weird. He didn't have a child with him. He's just creepily at the end caps looking down the aisle. So um, it just didn't feel right. So I started to look down these aisles and I see there's a young lady. She looks like she's maybe 14, maybe 13, 14. Um, and she has a little girl with her that looks to be like five or six. Well, the older girl is just like texting on her phone or whatever, not really paying attention. Um, and this man is just, he's watching them. And you could tell, like, it was obvious that he was watching them. So I kind of stayed back a little bit at first because I wasn't sure if they were together or not, but it didn't feel right. So I walked right up to him and I asked him, I'm like, who are you here with? And she looked at me kind of startled. She was like, my mom. And I was like, where's your mom? And she said, in the bathroom. And I was like, okay. I said, look, I said, um, please don't get loud. I was like, but there's a gentleman who's been watching you. I was like, I want to take you to your mom. Like, let, let, let's go to your mom. Um, and I kind of, because of her age, expected her to kind of give me a little bit of, you know, backlash, but she didn't immediately. You could tell she kind of got nervous. Um, so I took the small child by the hand and this other young lady, I tapped her on the shoulder and we started, you know, to go that we left the aisle. Um, so as we leave the aisle and we get on to, you know, um, an, an open space, you know, an opener space. Um, we're walking up towards customer service. And so she says, I'm going to call my mom. And I said, yes, please call your mom. Um, I said, tell her we're going to customer service. So as she's on the phone, she's trying to call her mom. I noticed this man has now came from the end cap and he is behind us. Um, so her mother didn't answer. So um, as, since I noticed him behind us, I started walking a little faster. I noticed he started walking a little faster as well. So I already had the young one's hand. I grabbed the older one by the hand too. And I mean, I was gripping for dear life because it just did not feel right. And I was like, if he tries to take one of these kids today, like there's going to be a fight to the death. So we're going up to customer service. Um, and <clears throat> when we get there, the older one says, um, well, there's the bathroom. I can go and see if she's in there. I said, no, we're going to stay here. I was like, I don't want you to go in there by yourself. I was like, um, I was, I'm going to have customer service page her. So, um, I went up to the desk and I'm kind of shielding these girls because I'm not sure where the gentleman, like he was right behind me and I wasn't sure where he went. But what was creepy is as we are going to customer service, you have to pass the front doors. You can see another gentleman kind of just standing up there against the wall. Now I didn't know I didn't know anything about this man, didn't know if they were together, didn't know, but it didn't look right the way he was kind of looking around, standing on the wall right outside the glass door. Okay, well, <clears throat> I tell the lady at customer service, you know, the, young, the older one tells them her mother's name. She's going to page. I said, do you have security in this store? And she was like, you mean like a security guard? And I was like, I mean, security. And she was like, well, not actual security, just like, you know, loss prevention. Um... And I said, okay, can you call the store manager? So she pages the children's mother and the store manager. Um, so the children's mother gets there first and she was like, oh, I was over there looking for you. And I was like, ma'am, look, I was like, there is a gentleman in this store that was like scoping out your kids and following them. I was like, I saw them in the toy department. I said, I told them to come here and we were going to page you. I was like, and I'm not sure where this gentleman is at this moment. And so she, you could just tell she freaked out. Like all the color went out of her face. She just turned white. Well, the store manager came up and I explained to him what was going on. And he was like, 
I promise you this happened a couple of days ago with a gentleman. We couldn't find him. We didn't know where he went. And I was like, do you have someone that can like walk us out of this store? Because at this point, it doesn't feel safe, especially for this woman and these kids. And he was like, yeah, he would get a couple of team members. Well, they came and we all kind of, you know, started leaving out of the store because at this point, I don't want anything. I am shaking like because it was just that creepy. So we're leaving to go out of the store. And um, the gentleman that was standing outside, like on the wall, he's still out there. And he has one of the same like walkie talkies as the gentleman that was in the store. When we get to her car, there's a white van, a small white van parked right next to her car. Like, I mean, immediately next to her car. When I looked in that van, the gentleman in the driver's seat was the same man that was in that and in inside the store. And when I tell you he gave me the creepiest smirk, it just sent chills over me. And I told the store manager and the associate, and the mother, I was like, that is the man that was in the store. So the store manager goes to write down the tag number, and um, the, the van pulls out so slow, and he goes right up to the front to pick up the guy who was on the wall in front of the store with the other walkie-talkie that I had noticed. Um, and it was just so creepy. Well, the mother burst out into tears and she was like, oh my God, that man, that van was in that same spot when I parked, when I pulled in and went into the store. That means this gentleman had scoped her and her children out from the parking lot. Parents, look, please be very careful. I'm really hoping with that tag number, they can get this gentleman. Um, but parents, please be very careful. Be mindful of your children. Keep them with you. Pay attention to your surroundings. And look, even younger ladies going in the store, please pay attention to your surroundings. If something doesn't look right, if it doesn't feel right, go get another associate, get some help, please. But be careful out here. It is crazy. These predators are bold and they are just, I mean, off the chain. Please stay safe out there, please.